What's going on? Welcome back to the channel and my two minute review of The Call of the Wild. This movie is based on the 1903 novel of the same name by Jack London. Now the novel has been adapted to film many times over the years starting as early as 1923. This latest version stars Harrison Ford who gives an average performance. But we have to recognize the unique challenge of acting against a character that isn't really there. Remember Buck is completely CGI. All the performances in the film are pretty much average. There's nothing that really is off-putting. There's nothing really that just blows you away. So it just kind of rides that line. The only thing that's sort of off-putting is actually some of Harrison Ford's narration. There are solid stretches where, as he narrates, that there's no inflection in his voice at all. It just seems like he's sort of either hungover or half asleep as he reads some of the text. Now, watching the trailers for this film, I question the use of CGI dogs, but I think for the most part it works. But on the other hand, some of these CGI backgrounds feel really out of place. So for those not familiar with the novel, the story really does focus on the dog, Buck, and it follows his journey from a domesticated animal in California all the way to embracing his heritage and joining the wolves in the wilds of Alaska. Now, I know in the novel there were attempts made to humanize Buck, but that sort of leads to some confusing scenes in this movie. Now, I don't want to give anything away, but there is a scene in the film where Buck recognizes that alcohol is bad, but there's no point of reference in the film for us as an audience to understand why the dog would think that that's bad. Now, this is a very family-friendly movie, and in that way, I really enjoyed the film. But when it comes to my recommendation on should you see this in theaters, I'm going to have to give it a thumbs down. Don't see it in theaters. Wait till it comes out on Netflix. Rent it. It's definitely worth a watch. And if you're looking for some new family-friendly content, this is definitely worth a $5 rental. So those are my brief thoughts on The Call of the Wild. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Y'all have a blessed day, and I will see you next time.